tessellation taking a regular shape and repeating it and then putting one next to the other and above or below and you finish up with a pattern like this classic brick wall pattern here this is a sort of tessellation you see all the time on buildings made with rectangular bricks here are the rectangles placed close beside to each other or one below or one above and this is tessellation where they fit together and there's no spaces and there's no overlap I've left the spaces here just to show you what I mean when we do the brick wall pattern which we'll be coming back to in a little while so there's the tessellation of rectangles here's tessellation using triangles same thing applies put them next to each other as close as possible without overlap and with no gap once again I've left the gap just so you can see how they fit together so closely so these are tessellating regular shapes a rectangle a triangle now I'm going to show you how to do a tessellation pattern using irregular shapes so I'll just clear this and we'll get a new page and we'll start with a rectangle so I'll drag out a rectangle here and then I'm going to fill it with some color in this case it's going to be black so it'll stand out really clearly and then we're going to take a piece of this with a free form selection with a transparent background and you would be doing this with your piece of card or paper with a pair of scissors I'm going to use this action on the computer so all I'm doing is just making a random cut and now you have your cut completed and just to show you the cutting action which you would do with scissors I'm going to use Microsoft Paint and there it is now instead of leaving it there I'm going to push it across to the left all the way across to the left and when it starts to peep out the other side like so then I'll stop and there's my tessellating irregular shape we could call it a tessellating tile but we'll just call it an irregular shape here so I'll start the process right now of tessellation so I'll just get a rectangular selection to drag around here then I'll right click copy right click paste and here's another one so let's see if it will fit together and we move it together using the arrow keys here I'm going to leave a reasonable space like that okay nothing touching there now I'm going to speed up the whole process because I'm going to select both of those copy paste here we go so let's use the arrow key again moving it to the left and up I don't want them touching at all especially in this computer program because you'll see at the very end that the uh, spaces must be clean okay same process select the whole thing copy paste and start to build the brick wall pattern make sure it's not touching but it's got that brick wall pattern okay now we take the whole thing again move it up to give myself a bit more space copy paste grab the new one line it up like so and now I'm going to clean up the whole thing and I'm going to use the select tool and just come down here let go hit delete same thing over here just come over to that go down hit the delete tool and then we've got a nice little pattern and just to finish it off I'm going to drag out a rectangle like so and put in a nice fill colour now I think red will go in here so I'll just get the paint bucket tool select red and hopefully this will flood right through 
all the white area inside the rectangle and it hasn't quite done it but that's all right and I'll just click on these and this is just where the Microsoft Paint has not quite been able to fill the spaces and you can see what I've done there doesn't look too good but we'll fix that up by going Control Z and try again yep there we go and that's the finished pattern so it's got these irregular shapes tessellating fitting into each other and these irregular lines here are echoing each other to get the brick wall pattern but of course it's not a regular brick wall pattern so those are tessellating shapes irregular shapes and you can do this with um, scissors cardboard or paper okay thanks for watching